Hello there, I'm Marshall Blake. Welcome to Machine Shed out here on the farm. You know, a friend of mine asked me the other day, he says, well, I know you studied jujitsu when you were younger. How long did you study for? I said about three and a half years. He said, were you any good at it? I said, yeah, I was real good at it. He said, have you ever had to use it? I said, no. And he said, what? I said, I don't know. Anyway, this reminds me of my favorite joke, the barroom bully. That's right. This little guy walks into the bar room and he says, I need a beer, and he climbs up on the bar stool. Meanwhile, this great big guy sitting next to him knocks him right off the bar stool, looks at him and says, that's karate from Korea. Well, the little guy gets back up, gets back on the bar stool, and the big guy knocks him right back off the bar stool. Big guy looks at him and says, that's judo from Japan. Little guy shakes it off one more time, gets back up on the bar stool. And when you know it, that big guy knocks him right back off this bar stool. Little guy runs out the door. Now, when that big guy woke up, that little guy says, that's a crowbar from Sears and Roebuck. You know, it's funny how uh, a, a joke like that can uh, influence a person, but, but it did. You know, when I was younger and I was out partying and having a good time and acting like an idiot, I, uh, I used to carry a crowbar with me in the bed of my truck. And every one of my friends knew it. And, uh, and, and they didn't mess with me. Now, did I ever have to use the crowbar? Well, let's, I, I just won't say whether or not I did or didn't. But uh, everybody knew it and they didn't mess with me. So, you know, having a, 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 a weapon of some sort around can, uh, can ward off trouble, is my point. For those of you idiots out there that think a weapon is not a good idea. Did you know that Americans that own guns legitimately have over a trillion tons of ammo? That's right. A trillion tons of ammo. And I just wanted to say to you, if it was us legal gun owners that were causing problems in America, you would know it. You would know it. Am I worried about terrorists coming into this country with, with gun owners and a trillion tons of ammo? I don't think so. I think we got bigger problems. That's right. People are just nuts. I mean, leave our guns alone. We, we, we're doing fine with them by ourselves. We're doing what we're supposed to. <laughs> you know, the other day I got this dog. And uh, I paid $150 for this dog. And this dog is plum ignorant. Uh, it runs around in circles right around you, just causing trouble, chewing up everything. And the other day, a person that owned the bus garage says, um, I was talking to one of the other drivers the other day, he said, and he says, you know, when he pulls out of the driveway, he about hits the dog. And I looked at him right in the face, and I said, why does he keep missing? <laughs> this dog is really problems. You know, this is a funny thing, but... Uh, an old farmer one time, he, he had a bunch of signs. It says, danger, beware of dogs. He had four trees in the front of his yard. Every one of them, danger, beware of dog. Danger, beware of dog. Danger, beware. Every tree had this sign on it in the front of his yard. And this salesperson, he uh, stopped at the house, and the farmer motioned for him to come up on the porch. He was sitting there in a the rocking chair. And on the way up, the salesperson noticed all these signs, danger, beware of dog. When he got up on the porch talking to the farmer, he noticed this old hound dog asleep and he's just peaceful as can be. And he said to the farmer, he says, is this the dog that we need to beware of? He looks harmless. And the farmer said, yeah, that's him. But he looks so harmless, the salesman said. The farmer said, yeah, but before we put up the sign, Everyone kept tripping over him. 
Now, why couldn't I have ended up with a dog like that? No, I had to end up with a crazy psychopath dog that I don't know what to do with, who, by the way, is chipped. And I can't take care of the problem because he's chipped. It's going to cost me money to take care of the problem. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't shoot the dog. All you, all you dog lovers out there, really, I wouldn't shoot the dog. But if you want a dog, you know, comment on this video. I'll have the sucker ship to you. You might feel differently after receiving him, but I have him shipped to you. Anyway, I'm glad you could join me here in the machine shed for a little bit of fun. God bless you.